coming? As always, thank our incredible student body and, and uh, the fans. And Buckeye Walk was outstanding, and so was the uh, school session. So I was very much appreciative as, as I speak on behalf of our players. Also, Jacob and Noah, today was a uh, muscular dystrophy coach and our baseball coach for Cure. And I'm proud to say that uh, everyone associated with Ohio State football, including some uh, some folks here that uh, were gracious enough to donate some money to an incredible cause. You know, we used to wear, I wore this patch on my arm for many years, and I, I wore it because someone said, wear a patch on your arm. And I had no idea why I was wearing a patch on my arm. And then uh, this young man is part of our family. I love this guy. He's a guy that uh, makes my day. Uh, it's not just him, his family. And uh, we raised $10,000 uh, for an incredible cause in Jacob's name. And so very appreciative for those of you that also were contributors. Uh, we played much better offense line, control line of scrimmage. The receivers had a very good day. Uh, offensively, you know, it's close. We just, the, the alarming part is the underthrown deep ball, which is fixable. Uh, it's not fixable when you don't have wideouts that can stretch a field, but we do. And so, and I have not seen the videotape, and it's hard to see exactly what goes on on the field, but I know we have at least three or four underthrown touchdowns. Or, or potential big hits. So we have to get those fixed. And uh, uh, But overall, I thought Cardell played okay. He threw for 288. Uh, I still give him the okay because we have high expectations and you know, a couple of turnovers. Uh, I thought Zeke is our most consistent offensive player. Our perimeter blocking was much better. Curtis Samuel is obviously a guy that uh, uh, we need to get that ball in his hand a little bit. And I thought Braxton could beat it as well. Um, so we're, we're kind of, I feel much better leaving this game as we move forward on offense. Special teams was dynamic. Uh, you know, we just had stupid, you know, they called him Mike Thomas Holding on a block punt. That's the first time, that's it. And they said that the guy ran and he tried to get out of his way to grab his shirt, which I don't know if obviously we're looking at that. I don't, I'm not saying it's wrong, I haven't seen it, but I've never heard. We were going after a block and they called Holding. And uh, we blocked the punt. So that was a big change of field position. We had a huge punt return all the way down inside the uh, red zone. And they got called back. So we had to clean up some penalties with the effort. <coughs> Defensively, is, uh, I don't think we played our, our typical silver ball itself. Uh, for, you know, the interior run was an issue. I'm sure you can visit with Coach Fickle and Coach Ash. we got to get that fixed. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, but overall, much better performance as we get ready to play a team that's 4-0 and start the Big Ten season. Front row right, Clay. But it was the third straight game with a defensive touchdown. How big a lift is that? And well, it's improving changing. offense and, and a bonus like that. Yeah, that, it's it's the style of defense where you know we are aggressive. We challenge throws. Uh, I saw all I saw is uh, the Dolphins running with the ball, and I'm not quite sure what happened. The ball was tipped, but uh, that, that's obviously a big change, of, uh, a big momentum pickup for us. But think about our punter too. Our punter and the punt teams right now dynamic. We're protecting, we're covering, there's no return yards, net 51, uh, that's a good day. Far left, Austin. <coughs> Urban, it seems kind of odd to think of Cardale under throwing yeah. to make this arm strength. Is there any, anything you think you can make of that before you go watch the film? Oh, I talked to both of them because JT had one too. And uh, they're called inside nines, and that's uh, it's kind of a staple of our offense, you know, throughout these last three or four years. That's, and I think, you know, it wasn't, you know, it's the Devin Smith, but they were, they were under throw because the White House were behind them. And so that's something uh, I'm going to find out. The one thing that we do is if we find out we're, we're not good at something, we practice the heck out of it. So we're going to practice the heck out of it. Front, uh, right over here, Jared. Yeah, Irvin, you mentioned the offensive line crediting them for their work. What, what did they do in practice this week? What, what kind of commitment did they make to show that kind of improvement this week? I think they, uh, they got beat up a little bit. They got, uh, I mean, I know I was exhausted by the time Paul Keels. I mean, I, I, Ask me question after question after question, and uh, uh, so I think what I did on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I got asked the same questions, and I'm sure I know I was tired of hearing about it, so I'm sure they were too. And uh, and Ed Warner did an excellent job, and so that's what we expect, and we can still get better. Far left, Doug. Urban, you talked about having receivers today to stretch the field and do that. Did you know coming into today that you had those guys? Or were you wondering about that at all? No, uh, that was a little bit, you know, because we haven't separated like we, we need to. We separated today. When I looked up and we'll see what this is. I'll have more information in the next week for you after I watch it. But it looked, I, I can count five times we're behind them. And uh, we had, I think, just one touchdown. Like, I think we had one or two PIs, but uh, they're underthrown. They underthrown interceptions, underthrown. 
So uh, I think we kind of figured out it's it's a, it's a Chris Smith had a good day, Jalen Marshall had a good day. Those are kind of over the top guys. And we saw Braxton make some big catches in the opener against Virginia Tech. <coughs> where is he just in his continued progress of? Oh, we try to get him the ball. You know, we're, we're I mean, that's an effort to try to get him. You know, we're releasing him out of the backfield. We're flipping him the ball. Line him up the quarterback. We're just not having the big hits right now. And, uh, we will. Front row right, Tim. Yeah, Urban, real quick follow up on that. Uh, has Braxton been uh, showing some, uh, I don't know, lack of confidence? What, what do you see out of him when he comes back to the sideline after some of those? Oh, no, no, it's just uh, we're not, we're not, you know, I don't necessarily think it's him. Yeah. Although I do think they can drop one today. You know, just the yeah. concentration of. Uh, He's trying to make a move and drop the ball. Yeah. So, no, it's not lack of effort. It's not like one, two, it's not attitude. It's, it's great. And he had a good week of practice. We're going to keep pushing. Have you ever been around a defense that scored three touchdowns? Or touchdowns in three straight games. Yeah, but I mean, what is it like? Like, what is going on with that group more than anything else that you like? Well, I mean, actually, I bet you know, my, the reaction that I imagine you see when I imagine a couple of guys come up here is going to be a little bit disappointed. But they didn't play better. Um, yeah, we score on defense, but uh, as a whole, I felt once again not until I see the videotape and talk to our coaches that we could play better. And the expectation level right now, our defense is very high. There's a couple years ago, you took that and said, oh, nice job. That's not good enough right now. Front row left, Bill. It looked like there was a concerted effort to increase the tempo. Uh, could you address that? And also, the play calling mechanics, did you change anything? Oh, not really. I mean, uh, the one guy that's getting more comfortable is Tim Beck uh, upstairs. I thought he did a very good job today. And it's the, the way that uh, we've always run it is that myself run this script the series much better today, much more organized, and you have to do that from upstairs, so he did a nice job today. And the tempo. And the tempo is something that uh, we're looking for cleaner defenses than we saw, and not be, you know, not playing uh, defense on offense, and we're much better at that today. And last question is front row right, Bill. Deep ball to uh, Curtis Samuel. Corey Smith is right in the same area. Was, who was the intended receiver? I'm sorry? The deep ball to Curtis Samuel. Corey Smith was yeah, right uh, 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 Curtis is the second level guy who just reacted to the ball that was thrown, I think, I think to uh, uh, Corey Smith. They're not designed to stand right next to each other. <laughs> 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 That'd be an idiot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, folks, we can get the chairs.